Okay, uh, I have this question. Is it easy to rent out a property in Bangkok? Okay, this is quite a general question. Uh, I think how, how, how I would answer it right is it depends. Okay, so it depends on location. Location is a primary factor. Uh, so if let's say your property is located uh, far away from the BTS station and even if it's close to a BTS station but it's not in a BTS station which is uh, you know, in, a, in central Bangkok, then it will be quite difficult to rent out. Like if you are traveling along the green line, usually we say uh, don't go past maybe uh, maybe around Punawiti, the area, right, would be the, the, the ending point to where it's investable. Uh, usually tenants will come up to maybe like uh, Punam Witi or maybe up to Udom Sok. Uh, last time we used to end it at maybe around Onut, but now as you see Punam Witi developing, there's more things that are going along that direction. Then if let's say you go the other direction, right, uh, maybe you end up at around higher Lap Brow or one or two stations after that. Then uh, if let's say further up the BTS line, then it will be quite difficult. Um, and it's very important that your condominium is walking distance from the BTS station. If you ever lived in Bangkok, you will know that uh, it's quite hot uh, in the day, especially uh, during uh, seasons where, you know, of extreme heat. Like currently, right, uh, I'm here, where is this? In June. Yeah, so now in June, right, it's very hot. And then sometime in September, it will be the rainy season. So if you're, if you're a tenant, you don't want to be walking back either in the extreme heat or in the rain. Uh, so what you do is that uh, as a landlord, you must think of this when you purchase a property. Uh, that is the main reason why uh, on our channel, we try to uh, do the walks from the BTS station uh, or the train station, the MRT station to the condominium. Then uh, clients who purchase the properties from us, they will know uh, the distance from the train station uh, to the condominium and then they can make an informed decision as to whether the tenants that are uh, a, a, a prospective tenant you know uh, would want a uh, property like what they're going to purchase okay uh, so that's most important most important is uh, location so if your property is well located then obviously it'd be very easy to rent out uh, another another i think minor thing that makes it easier to rent out a property would be uh, the facilities and the condition of the condominium. So if let's say your condominium unit right, is uh, pretty old and run down, then it would be ideal that you consider renovating. Um, if let's say your condominium has very extensive facilities, uh, like I always mention, right, there are condominiums with even virtual golf simulation driving ranges. And these are pool factors which makes it easier for the condominium to be rented out because you sort of avail your, your unit to a larger pool of tenants. Okay, so uh, most importantly, uh, location. Uh, next is condition and uh, the level of facilities. And yeah, so if let's say your property is well located, uh, good condition, and then um, facilities quite extensive, then Yes, obviously it's going to be very easy to rent out a property, but otherwise then it will take some time. Okay, uh, how easy? There are cases whereby we've had we've had the property rented out in just a few days. So we put up an ad, the unit vacant because the ten the previous tenant moved out. We put up an ad, then within a few days or a week, the unit was already taken up already. Okay, so that's that's how easy it is to rent out if uh, it's quite close to the BTS station. Okay, so that's all from me. I'll see you guys at the next video.